Okay, guys, here's an example of a bug in Premiere Pro which has to do with the GPU rendering. Okay, if I go to my project settings, you see I'm using the GPU acceleration. Okay, so I have here a basically it's just a PNG and I have some transformation. So the position always stayed the same, I only changed the scale. Okay goes from 0 to 100 and a little bit of, a, bit of the bouncing. So, so the monkey... Why is it big now? Why is it not 0 now? This is already annoying. This is already annoying. Look, this is already a bug. I'm at the scale of 0 and it's big. So this shouldn't be. Anyway, this is not... Wow, this is ridiculous. How many bugs has this shitty program? Okay. This is not the topic of this video. So now the monkey is coming in, bounces a little bit, and it goes out again. So now I try to render this with a GPU acceleration, right? I just showed you. GPU, let's render it. Bada 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 bam. Boom! Error, okay? This error exists for several years, okay? I have seen in forums where people complain about this error code for, I don't know, maybe at least five years, okay? And Adobe has no resolution, no solution for this, <laughs> no, resol no solution for this, because they say, we never have this problem. We, we, cannot, we cannot reproduce this, this problem. And look, I come, I come from the IT department, okay? If people come here to me and say, I have a problem with this and I cannot reproduce this problem, I cannot help them, okay? But after five years, after hundreds of people complaining, after hundreds of different computers with different graphic cards settings, Adobe has never seen this error to fix? Hey, come on, this is unbelievable. So anyway, so, Adobe uh, provides a, a workaround, which means, you know, you just, or let's look, let's render it again. You see, here's a frame, where is it here? One second, 53 frames, okay? Which is, I can even go there, 53, okay? I can zoom in. So this frame here, this frame makes the problem, okay? So if I put the in point at the beginning and I render until frame 1 minute 52, I put enter, bada bada bam, it goes through, you see? No problem. So if I choose this single frame here, this is causing the problem. If I try to render it out, bam, the problem occurs. I don't know why, but it is, <laughs> it is what it is. So Adobe says, well, look, you can render this frame without GPU acceleration. So you put this out, palm, you go to only software and you render it. It's rendered, it's green, you know, and the last, the last frame also makes a problem with the GPU. I can show you. GPU. Enter, it also makes the same problem. So I have to render both frames with a software only. Okay? So, what is the problem now? First of all, this workaround is... Actually, it's, um, it's, it's insulting. Because I buy a GPU, a dedicated gr graphics card, to have much faster rendering at my video editing program, which should support GPU acceleration produces error so I cannot really use it all the time it's not reliable because the problem is if I have a project which is let's say half an hour long my computer needs let's say 10 hours to render it with different effects okay so normally what I would do I start the rendering when I go to bed and when I wake up in the morning it's hopefully gone the problem is if the GPU acceleration throws errors maybe it only renders like five minutes from the video and then it stops the rendering process because the gpu acceleration throw an error so the whole night my computer couldn't work because it stopped 
rendering. So I have to find, like I just did, I have to find the, the arrow occurring frame, render it manually with only software and then go on with the next passage with the GPU acceleration, okay? So this is a manual process which is super annoying, which uh, requires me to always stay at the computer and watch when the arrows occur. So this is ridiculously not practical. Okay, sorry for the noises in the background, I'm in a hostel right now. So, but anyway, if this workaround were reliable, I, I could live with it. Here's a problem I can show you. Actually, I have to delete the preview, so I just changed the opacity of, let's say, 99%, so now the preview doesn't work anymore. Good. So the problem is, what do we have right now? We have only software still. Okay, let's switch back to GPU. So, as you can remember, the monkey head is coming in from slightly the left, you know? This is the center. If I click on the transform effect, you see this is the anchor point. The anchor point is in the middle of the, of the picture, of the frame. The monkey is coming from the left. Okay, and the same, it's leaving to the left. Actually, I have no idea why the monkey does this, because the position never changes. So if only the scale is changing, the monkey could should fly from the middle in and out, okay? So let's say the GPU acceleration would not throw an arrow, I would render this out with the GPU acceleration and I would never realize that this is not the way it sh should be, supposed to be, because if I change it to software only, watch what the monkey head is doing, okay? I change to software, okay? It takes some seconds to process, palm. You see, the monkey is in the middle as it's supposed to be. And I tried it out. I can I can make now um, a, a, a short preview. It takes a little longer because it's only software. This is the problem why I have a GPU because it's five times faster. You see, the preview looks different. You see, the outcome looks different. That means the problem is not only that the workaround is shitty from it though, because if I render the whole timeline with only software, I don't have to be at the computer because there are no errors occurring, but it takes maybe two days to render instead of one night with the GPU, you know? So this is ridiculous. But anyway, if I switch between GPU and software, the real problem is that both systems produce different results. This is the real problem, you know? If I switch back to GPU, palm, look at the monkey head, it jumps <laughs> to the left. So this is the real problem, that this workaround is not reliable because software only gives me another result than the GPU acceleration. So, isn't that amazing? So write down in the comments what you think about this bug, which exists for years now. I will send this project to Adobe. I will send my computer data, my graphic card, my, my computer, all the data they want. Uh, because maybe their graphic card and their GPU is, uh, acceleration gives another result than my computer, which should not be. Anyway. It's tw it's the it's December 21 and this problem is still occurring. It's actually annoying and ridiculous, but it is what it is. And let's see what Adobe will say to this problem in the future. Bye bye.